Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with this beautiful TV. So this is the Sony X900H, also known as the X90H. So this is the 55 inch version. This is 4K HDR with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support and also HLG. And it also features a uh, full array with local dimming. So this is a really good TV for $1,000 for the 55 inch version. Now in this case, I'm going to show you some of the picture settings that I use while watching movies and while watching streaming content right here. For example, this is uh, 4K content through YouTube. So I'm going to share you my own personal settings with SDR and HDR as well. So if you're interested in something like that, welcome to the channel. I'm Jolster and let's do this. All right, guys, so I'm going to share with you my settings. Just keep in mind that these are my own personal settings. As I always say, you can try them, you can use them, you can modify them if you want, but always use the settings that work best for you. All right. So first, this is going to be for SDR and I'm playing a 4K video right here on YouTube, which looks beautiful. And you can find out if this is HDR if you go into the menu right here. And then if you click on the picture settings and then you see on top on the right corner on top it should say hdr but in this case this is a regular standard dynamic range video so that's how it's going to look all right so first off i'm using standard out of the box uh standard picture mode works good for me you also have the option of vivid but i feel like vivid it's the colors are oversaturated and then standard they look more natural to me but I did make some adjustments, I'll show you right now. And you also have cinema, which uh, looks kind of warm, but like I said, you can all also adjust that. And then we have custom, which is completely out of the, customize your this mode as however you want. So first, like I said, I'm gonna use standard, all right? Let's go into, uh, you can reset the pictures if you want to. So first, auto picture mode, this is, you can't use select this one right now. Let's go into light sensor. Highly suggest guys, turn this off. Otherwise, this sensor is going to adjust the brightness depending on the ambient light that you have or the room that you have. So you wanna have control over this. You don't wanna let the sensor dictates the brightness of the TV. So turn this off. Here we have brightness. So uh, in previous TVs or for example, in, in Samsung TVs, you have brightness and then you have backlight. In here, Sony just implemented brightness, but this is pretty much the backlight. So in here, you can adjust how bright your whole TV is, is going to be. So this, I suggested to leave it as it's uh, re recommended by Sony. It says by 40. This is SDR, so you, you don't wanna go that bright. So I like, I leave it like that at level 40. And this is contrast. I also left contrast and level 90. This is controlling also the signal, the brightness signal adjustment. So 90 is good for SDR. Gamma, I left it right in the center. I feel like it looks good like that. Black levels, same thing. I left it in the cent in the uh, out of the box, which is right in the middle. Remember, you want to try to make this as balanced as possible because these settings are good for uh, viewing uh, streaming content, maybe right here on YouTube or also movies as well. So over here, black adjustment, I turned this off. This is sort of like an, an uh, AI enhancement, but you don't wanna use all this, uh, all these features, all this AI features. Uh, advanced contrast enhancement as well. This is something that is going to enhance the picture. You don't really wanna use this. It looks beautiful already in 4K. Local dimming, now I have this one on high, and this is one of the reasons that you buy this TV, right? Because you want to use the local dimming. So I recommend it to use it on high. Now extended dynamic range. This extends the, uh, the dynamic range, but in HDR, in this case, this is uh, SDR. So this doesn't apply here. So I just turned this off. So in color, originally this one is adjusted to level 60, but I feel like the colors are too saturated for my taste, so I lower it down to 55. And then over here, hue is uh, left in the middle. Color temperature. Normally, I believe this one is in warm or expert one. 
Uh, I usually do like warm, but in this case, in this TV, I feel like neutral looks beautiful. So that's my personal choice. Over here in live color, it says adjust the vividness colors by correcting the strength of each color. This is another AI adjustment. I honestly don't really need this one, so I turned this one off. So now we're going to move to clarity, and this is where sharpness is uh, to be found. So sharpness, it's uh, normally here in uh, standard, it's at level 60. I lower it down to 55 because I'm watching 4K content. So you don't want to add some fake sharpening into this picture. It already looks very sharp and clean. Now, uh, if you turn it all the way down, I notice that the image will get a little soft. So I, I feel like 55 works best for me. Now over here, reality creation. This is where uh, this is another another enhancement if you're you watching lower resolution content. So in this case, I'm watching 4K content. Now, if you're buying a 4K TV, that's most likely because you want to watch or use it for 4K content, correct? So I turned this off. Uh, now, if you want to watch 1080p or 480p content or 720p, then I suggest to not invest money in a 4K TV. Just uh, try to look for a 1080p TV probably. But for all these other enhancements, if you are watching over the air probably, this probably worked good. Uh, will help you out, but honestly, all these uh, enhancements they don't really do that much good of a uh, good job. So I turned this off. Digital noise reduction, all those things, they're off. Over here now we're going to jump into motion. Now this is something where a lot of people debate whether to use it or not. I highly suggest to play around with it, but if you turn this one off. This is how uh, movies are suggested to use with this motion off. And the reason is because when you turn this on, everything looks so smooth, so clean, that it kind of looks so unreal. That's why movie makers hate this because the, when you watch their movies, it just looks like a video game. So you don't want to have that. But in this case, for example, if I watch this sort of videos on YouTube, I feel like this works great for me. This is also known as the soap opera effect. Uh, my wife loves this and I like it too. I, I usually use this in automatic, but you can also customize it. Now when you jump into customize, you can also adjust the smoothness of this or the judder probably. And then over here at clearness, this is the BFI or black frame insertion. Now this is good for sports, but for example, if you increase this, you notice how dark the image gets. So if you decrease this, or use the minimum, it, it gets a little bit brighter. But like I said, you can always use automatic and the TV will choose the best option for you. So in this case, this is good for this kind of content, but for movies, turn this off. Otherwise, the movies are going to look kind of fake. Scene motion, pretty much the same thing. I have it in automatic. But when I turn it off, it looks more realistic. This is, I feel like this is a personal choice. But uh, honestly, for me and my wife, we, we like this enhancement. But it is highly suggested for movies to turn this off. Now over here in video signal, you have the option of HDR. You can have it in automatic which is the best option, but you can also make HDR more like uh, you're, you're pushing HDR in here content, right? But you notice that the colors, you get a lot of highlights, but this is fake HDR. And pretty much what it does is like in the dark areas, you lose a lot of dark details. So you don't want to do that. You want to have everything more natural. You know, you also have HLG, which I think HLG also works really good in this kind of content. But to be honest, I highly suggest to just leave it in automatic. And then color space, same thing, just leave it in automatic so the TV will choose the best option depending on what you're watching. And that's it. This is for SDR content, guys, or any 4K content. This works great for me. Now let's jump into HDR or Dolby Vision content.
All right, guys, so you can also enjoy HDR content right here on YouTube. It looks beautiful and it's bright. This TV can get very, very bright. So let's go into settings and to find out if you're watching HDR content, let's just go into the picture settings and then you'll notice on the top right corner, it has the HDR logo. That's how you know that when you're watching HDR content right here on YouTube. So let's go down into, I'm using picture mode standard as well. Then pretty much everything is going to be almost the same thing. You notice the light sensor is off already. Brightness, now this brightness is going to be all the way to the top. It's going to be a maximum level of brightness. Same with contrast, or well, actually contrast, I have it at 90. And then over here, gamma is right there in the center as well. Black levels, 50-50. Black adjustment is off. Uh, contrast enhancer, enhancer is off as well. And then local dimming is going to be on high. That way you can get the better contrast in black levels, right? And then here in extended dynamic range, this is where you want to have this one in high. Now, once you make these adjustments, guys, this is going to be saved in the computer. So whenever you're watching, depending on HDR or SDR, your settings are going to change automatically. You don't, you don't have to worry about changing them all the time. So over here in color, it's going to be at 55. Uh, I reduced this to 55 hue color temperature is neutral you can play around with this one but I like it in neutral it looks really nice live color is off as well clarity it is going to be at 55 reality creation this is off remember this is for lower resolution content all these enhancements are going to be off digital noise reduction off as well and motion this is going to be as explained. This is going to be off right now. But if you're watching movies, I highly recommend to leave it off. You can turn it on right now if you want to uh, use this. I, I really like it, especially when you're watching uh, a lot of uh, uh, panning the camera. When the, the camera is panning, you'll notice motion flow works really well. And then scene motion, same thing. Off right now. Video signal, I already explained to you guys, this is going to be an HDR. You don't want to push HDR. This is going to be pretty much the same or HLG. I'm just going to leave it in auto and that's it. Color space is going to be in automatic as well. Then over here, advanced color adjustment. This is when you are going to professionally calibrate this TV. You can play around with this, but I highly suggest just leave it alone as that. When you have some professional calibrator, working on your TV, this is where they're going to go in and make some adjustments. Man, this picture looks beautiful. It is bright. I love it. Even with HDR, this TV looks excellent. Now, when you're watching content in Dolby Vision, you notice that things are going to change a little bit as well. So let's go into the menu and then over here in picture mode, you have the option of Dolby Vision dark or Dolby Vision bright. I personally prefer Dolby Vision bright so you can get the, you know, the brighter panel, the brighter picture possible. But if you're in a dark room, you might want to use Dolby Vision dark. In this case, I'm going to work on Dolby Vision bright. And then let's go into the settings real quick, right? I'm going to click on this and then you have the option here as well. And the settings are pretty much the same. I did notice that everything brightness and contrast is all the way up max. And then over here, black adjustment is off. Most of these settings are going to be off. And then auto local dimming, I have it in high. Extended dynamic range is in high. And then colors, 50, hue 50 or in the middle. Color temperature, I is suggested to have it an expert one. So the color tones are a little bit more uh, warmer, a little bit yellowish tone into the picture. If you like that, if not, you can always use net, uh, neutral. But honestly, I feel like in movies, the warmer tone look, works best. It looks nicer. Color, live color is off. And then clarity, this is the sharpness is at 50 right now. Reality creation, this is going to be off. Remember, this is for lower resolution content, digital noise reduction, all those things. Then motion, like I said, if you like something to have it very smooth, very soap opera effect, you can have it in automatic. And trust me, everything looks very, very smooth. 
The problem is that it looks kind of fake. So for a movie, it doesn't work. I suggest to turn it off and then same with scene motion. Now over here in video signal, you can't change anything because this is in Dolby Vision and that is pretty much it guys. This is Aquaman on movies anywhere. You can watch Dolby Vision content with the app movies anywhere here on this TV and it looks beautiful. So that's it for this video guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any suggestions if you have this TV. Some people I noticed that they're using, uh, they have the X950H and they're asking me if they can use these settings. You can, I mean, just try them. It's a, a little bit different TV, but always work with the best, the settings that work best for you. All right. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Jolster. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out. Oh, hey, guys. Jolster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content, and you would like to support this channel. First off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, you, you can become a member. Just hit that join button. You get access to some of the emojis that I created. And also, you get early access to some of my videos, the aftermath of the live stream that I do. But mostly, just want to support this channel, hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Joe's around.